The Archives Nationales French, Archives Nationales de France, also known as the French Archives or the National Archives, preserve France's official archives apart from the archives of the Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, as these two ministries have their own archive services, the Defense Historical Service Service Historique de la Défense and the Diplomatic Archives, archives Diplomatiques, respectively. The Archives Nationales have one of the largest and most important archival collections in the world, a testimony to the very ancient nature of the French state which has been in existence for more than 12 centuries already. The Archives Nationales were created at the time of the French Revolution in 1790, but it was a state decree of 1794 that made it mandatory to centralize all the pre-French Revolution private and public archives seized by the revolutionaries, completed by a law passed in 1796 which created departmental archives archives départementales in the département of France to alleviate the burden on the Archives Nationales in Paris, thus creating the collections of the French archives as we know them today. In 1800 the Archives Nationales became an autonomous body of the French state. Today, they contain about 406 kilometers, 252 miles of documents the total length of occupied shelves put next to each other, an enormous mass of documents growing every year. The original documents stored by the Archives Nationales range from AD 625 to today. The Archives Nationales are under the authority of the French Archives Administration Service Interministériel des Archives de France in the Ministry of Culture. The Archives of France also manage the 100 departmental archives located in the préfectures of each of the 100 départements of France, as well as various other local archives. These departmental and local archives contain all the archives from the decentralized branches of the French state, as well as all the archives of the pre-French Revolution provincial and local institutions seized by the revolutionaries parliaments, chartered cities, abbeys, and churches. Thus, in addition to the 252 miles 406 kilometers of documents kept by the Archives Nationales, at least 1,753 miles 2,821 kilometers of documents are kept in the departmental and local archives, in particular the church records and notarial records used by genealogists. Six centers. Due to the massive volume of documents and records kept by the Archives Nationales, these have been divided among four archives centers complemented by a microform center serving as a backup in case original documents are destroyed. The original center is still located in La Marais in the heart of Paris, but a new center has been built in pierrefitte sur seine in the northern suburbs of Paris, and has acted as the main center of the Archives Nationales since 2012, the Paris premises keeping only pre-French Revolution records. Topic. Paris The Archives Nationales has been located since 1808 in a group of buildings comprising the Hôtel de Soubise and the Hôtel de Rohan in the district of La Marais in Paris. This centre stores all the documents and records from before 1958 except the documents and records concerning former French colonies as well as the archives of the French heads of state. Since 1867 it has also housed the Musée de l'Histoire de France. The Anne in Paris keeps 98.3 km, 61 miles of documents as of 2004, 15 km, are pre-French Revolution archives, 52 km, are archives of the French central state from 1790 to 1958, 20 km, are the so-called Minotier Central, i.e. the archives of all the Parisian notaries extending from the 15th century to the beginning of the 20th century, 5.8 km, are private archives, notably the archives of the aristocratic family seized at the time of the French Revolution, 4.5 km, are books, and finally 1 km, are ancient maps and plans. It should be noted that due to the events of the French Revolution, the pre-French Revolution archives kept by the Archives Nationales are not just the archives of the central state, but also the many local archives of the Paris region, such as all the archives of the abbeys surrounding Paris e.g. the Basilica of Saint-Denis, the archives of the churches of Paris, and the archives of the medieval Paris City Hall. Thus, the Archives Nationales serve as the archives of the French central state for records from 1790 onwards, but for records before 1790 they serve as both the archives of the central state and the local archives of Paris and its region. 
The archives nationales, however, do not keep the church records of Paris baptisms, marriages and burials. These were entirely destroyed by fires set by extremists at the end of the Paris Commune in 1871. The oldest document kept at the end is a papyrus dated AD 625 coming from the archives of the Basilica of Saint-Denis seized at the time of the French Revolution. This papyrus is the confirmation of a grant of land in the city of Paris to the Abbey of Saint-Denis issued by King Clothar II. This document is the oldest original one kept by the Archives Nationales, although the Archives Nationales possess medieval copies of earlier records going as far back as AD 528 but not the originals. In total the Archives Nationales possess 47 original documents from the Merovingian period ended in 751. They also possess five original documents from the reign of Pepin the Short 751 to 768, 31 from the reign of Charlemagne 768 to 814, 28 from the reign of Louis the Pious 814 to 840, 69 from the reign of Charles the Bald 840 to 877, 1 from the reign of Hugh Capet 987 to 996, 21 from the reign of Robert the Pious 996 and then a rapidly increasing number of original documents after Robert the Pious, with for example more than 1,000 original documents from the reign of Philip Augustus and several thousand original documents from the reign of St. Louis the Archives Nationales also hold the original Declaration on the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, dating from 1789, which was used to disseminate to the political community the first ever French constitution and represents the first printed version of that text. It was inscribed on UNESCO's Memory of the World Programme Register in 2003 in recognition of its historical significance. Fontainebleau. The Centre for Contemporary Archives Centre des Archives Contemporaines or CAC, founded as the Cité Interministérielle des Archives, opened in Fontainebleau in 1969. It is the repository for documents issued by the French Central State since 1958 founding of the Fifth Republic. It contains 193 kilometres, 120 miles of archives as of 2006. X The National Overseas Archives Archives Nationales doutre mer or ANOM, originally the Centre for Overseas Archives Centre des Archives doutre mer opened in Aix and Provence in 1966. It stores the archives from the ministries in charge of the French colonies and Algeria until the 1960s such as the Ministry of Colonies as well as the archives transferred from the French colonies and Algeria at the time of their independence between 1954 to 1962. The ANOM also possesses private and corporate archives related to the former French colonies and Algeria. In total the ANOM keeps 37 kilometers 23 miles of archives from the 17th to the 20th century covering more than 40 currently independent countries spread over five continents. Note that the archives concerning Tunisia and Morocco which were protectorates and not colonies are kept by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in its diplomatic archives. In addition to these 37 kilometers of archives, the ANOM also possesses 60,000 maps and plans going back to the 17th century, 150,000 photographs, 20,000 postcards, and 100,000 books. Topic: <inaudible> Rubai. The National Archives of the World of Work Archives Nationales du Monde du Travail or ANMT, originally the Centre for the Archives of the World of Work Centre des Archives du Monde du Travail, opened in Rubai in 1993. It stores the archives of businesses, trades unions, associations and societies, and architects. In total it contains 35 kilometres, 22 miles of archives as of 2006. Most of the archives in this center are private archives. Topic: St. Giles. The National Microfilm Center, Centre National du Microfilm, opened in the Château d'Espéron in St. Giles du Gard in 1973. 
This center stores original microforms of documents held in other archive centers, both national and departmental, in case the original documents were destroyed. This center keeps approximately 61 million views of original documents. Pierfeet sur Seine The construction of a new National Archives Centre at Pierfeet sur Seine, in the northern suburbs of Paris, was decided in 2004 and opened to the public in January 2013. It is meant to become the main centre of the Archives Nationales, with a capacity of 320 kilometres 200 miles of shelves, one of the largest storage capacities in the world. This archives center stores the archives of the French central state since 1790 pre-French Revolution archives will remain in Paris. The Pierfeet sur seine center will receive from its opening 60 km. 37 miles of records from the Paris center and 120 km. 74 miles from the Fontainebleau center, which will alleviate the burden on both centers, and it will henceforth receive all the new records from the central state every year for the next 30 years after its opening. Designed by the Italian architect Massimiliano Fuxes, it opened in January 2013. The Paris site will remain the centre for pre-French Revolution archives as well as for Paris notarial records, whereas the Fontainebleau site will keep 60 kilometres of contemporary serial archives. 